Hey, uh, Yon here. It's lucky time, as in Finch's lucky 13, that is. Basic specs on the knife, 154 CM steel, flat grind, Warncliffe, two-tone satin finish. Looks absolutely gorgeous. This is a bolstered liner lock with camo, I call it raindrop, carbon fiber. Scales, we've got a mill tie clip and we've got ceramic ball bearings for this sucker. It is a flipper tab knife. Other specs on it, we've got two and an eighth inch of usable edge. We've got a scale length of three and a half inches, a tip to tail length of five and three quarters, and a weight of 3.3 ounces. So my first impressions, likes on the knife. First of all, I like it. Finch has really taken the whole modern classic slash modern traditional knife up a notch, that's for sure. The Lucky 13 is no exception to this design philosophy. It has a very traditional, slightly sway back look to it. Rounds off on the other side with a, with a worn cliff. That I think is a fantastic design element. It, it gives the knife a little bit of balance, which is great. It has good fit and finish. Everything on the knife works the way it's supposed to. There's no problems with the blade centering. It has a functional pocket clip. All the materials are great. Your titanium frame lock, your, your bolstered scales, the classic kind of flush mounted pivot that, they, that Finch tends to use on the front of the knife, and the grinding on the satin, the satin grind on the stainless goes right across the top, the front, front face and top side of the grind over here. So it looks fantastic. The knife really milled tie clip, right? Good looking spacers and absolutely gorgeous looking. There we go. There's the scales. Look at those suckers. Really, really nice. Great looking knife. Okay. So now that I've oohed and odd over it enough, um, fit finish good, materials good, elegant yet functional design for sure. For a fifth pocket size knife, and that, that is what this knife is, a fifth pocket knife, right? You can get all fingers, four fingers on it here with my large glove hands. You can certainly get all finger, four of your fingers on it here. It's perfectly comfortable to use in this position. There's some good jimping in the back and the knife actually feels pretty solid in your hand. Again, this is not meant to be a big heavy duty cutter, right? This is meant to be a fifth pocket style knife. But it's got some beef to it too. It's got enough girth here with that you can actually get your hand around it really solidly. Okay? So for its size, good ergos. It's a flipper tab with a functional clip. Cuts really nice, right? You got a Warncliffe utility style blade on it. So all good. Issues or dislikes? I kind of wish they made a larger version of this knife, right? Wouldn't it be really cool if we had a knife that had another inch of handle on it and say another three quarters to an inch of blade on it? You know, that would be a pretty cool knife. The same style, just, you know, make it a little bigger. Anyway, that's the only dislike I have about it. But now let's size compare, because I want to give you, I always like to give you guys some comparisons. So let's give you a wee baby banter. So here they are lined up pivot to pivot. And you can see the banter's a little shorter. There's a little bit more back to this knife and there's a little bit more blade. Not much, but a tiny bit. Okay, the banter's a little taller, but also a little thinner, right? The Lucky 13 is not quite as tall, but a little thicker, you know, as far as the width goes. So there you go. It's very, very close, but slightly bigger than a baby banter. Now let's give you a regular banter. 
This is a good comparison as well. And as you can see, the Wii Banter is definitely bigger. So right in between the two knives that, that I think are very common fifth pocket knives for people falls the Lucky 13. All right, so there's your size comparison. So let me give you a quick summary. This knife is in the $125 to $135 category. It looks good. It has solid ergos. It has good fit and finish. You're getting a 154 cm blade. Finch has been pretty well known for good designs, and I would say this one falls right in line with that for sure. Gorgeous looking scales as well. They really have done a fantastic job at creating modern, traditional, sort of modern, classic knife designs that look, cut, and carry really, really well. So if that is something that you like, you might want to check out the Finch Lucky 13. All right, that's all I really got. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. That's the Finch Lucky 13 in camo raindrop carbon fiber. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp, everyone. Stay sharp.